the afternoon news, and today we are reporting a serious incident at the Royal Alex Hospital. A 21-year-old girl has been very ill in the past weeks because of the use of heroin. Lena Osifati reports. Thanks, Shalobi. Mrs. Brown has suffered a tragic incident when using heroin and is now being hospitalized. I will not get into much detail, but she has suffered severe headaches for the last few weeks. I will now go to Mrs. Brown's room to ask her a few questions. So, Mrs. Brown. When did you start using heroin, and what were the effects? I started when I was 19 years old, and when I first started, I had very heavy arms and, 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 and my legs, and, I, and when I, and I always had a very dry mouth, and nothing could ever quench my thirst. How do you feel now? Are you tired? Are you jumpy? I just want to go to bed. I'm only not. Well, thank you. We will come back to you, but for now, we will go see Dr. Timbalski. Hello, Dr. Timbalski. My name is Lena from Global News. I would like to ask you a few questions about Mrs. Brown. Well, she's in rough condition, and since you're not blood-related, I may not be able to share all the information with you. But I will try my best to answer most of your questions. What are the long-term effects of using heroin? Well, she's been on heroin for two years, so it will be a longer period of time before she can make a full recovery. However, we do recommend rehabilitation for her serious addiction. Because she was tired, she was unable to answer some of our questions. But what are some long-term effects she would have overcome if she wasn't being hospitalized now? Well... She had been diagnosed with kidney disease. However, what could have happened was that she could have had pulmonary <laughs> complications, which are often infections re related. She now has an increased chance of catching HIV and other blood-borne viruses. She will probably get into infection of the heart lining and valves, normally due to lack of serial technique. Wow, that's very serious. Can you tell us um, what heroin is made of? Owning, selling, or producing heroin is against the law. People yet still find affordable ways to produce it. It's made in several different ways, but comes to one base, morphine, which comes from opium, which comes from the poppy flower. Once it is harvested, the three main biochemicals are separated, or morphine, chondrin, and sabine. However, only morphine and cobine can be made into heroin. People can make heroin by using simple kitchen tools. And that can act as coin from over-the-counter pain pills. So this makes becoming addicted to heroin easier because you have more access to the tools you need and products to make it. I hope she makes a good recovery. Thank you, doctor. Now I will head back to see Mrs. Brown and ask her a few more questions. We are now entering Mrs. Brown's room. What do you want? I told you to go away. I wanted to sleep. Well, we are here to ask you a few more questions. What do you want? How did you get hair on and how does it look? Everyone knows. It's white, odorless, highly addictive seeing the situation I'm in. And it's illegal in the USA and that's why I didn't go there. Stupid country. And, in, and, and it's also, in, in Europe, and all these other countries that I, I don't really know, or care to remember, I got it off a friend, you know, she made it herself, she won't tell me how, but, yeah. Where is your husband, and are you still in contact with any of your family members? My husband, he left me. Because he didn't want to love someone who was going to throw away her life. My mother, she's the only supporter I have. She still believes that I can change my life. I destroyed my life using heroin. 
Well, thank you for all your time. You know, it's the Global News. Stupid country. <laughs> don't delete it. No, Alma, don't delete it. It's okay. I'll be good. <laughs> Well, thank you for all your time. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang on. Immediately. However, what could have... Moving on! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dr. Timothy. My...